What up, guys? It's so today's easy day. So me and Zuna are gonna go go down to Shoe Palace and go to the live raffle because didn't took the L on all the all the apps like the confirmed app and the Foot Locker and Champs like took the L on all those like most people. So I did do some I. Like I did um pay for some uh some like bot services. So hopefully those go through. But we're gonna sit in line and hopefully take the W. But even if not, I'm gonna try to be buying I'm just gonna be trying to copy a few pairs of shoes from people that were lucky enough to win the raffle. So we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> Still trying to wake up. It's super early. It's like six, not even six thirty yet. So, check you guys later. Whew. What up, everybody? So, it's gym time. Gonna hit pool today. Yeah, pool. And uh, so, update on the Yeezy situation. We went to Shoe Palace this morning. They only gave away ten pairs in the raffle. Looked like there was probably around 200 people there so you know the percent me and chris took the l on that one tried to buy a few pairs from the people that won but they were they were asking for ridiculous amounts of money so we so literally came home checked my email noticed that my uh my uh my i purchased a bot from for someone to uh run the bot for me and it came through, so I got my pair, and Zuna also was able to win his pair too. So, got two pairs coming, and I'm really, I'm pretty happy. I don't, <laughs> you know, didn't take the L, so pretty happy. Uh, people look down on bots and stuff, but uh, you know, like if if they if the if these sites if the websites keep allowing bots, you know, like what what can you do it's either you use them or you don't get the shoe that's that's how it is so you know i paid for someone for their their services because i don't want to buy the bot and learn how to use it even though that would be much cheaper in the long run so for me you know i just i want the shoe if i get a few extra pairs to resell and make a few hundred bucks that'd be cool but i'm happy with just owning the shoe because i'm actually going to wear the shoe i'm not gonna like i'm not one of the i don't have any pairs of shoes that I don't wear that's not me so I'm happy about that it's time for the gym and I'll keep you guys updated peace and if you're wondering why I can't put this any lower it's because this is as low as the this is the lowest the the cam magnet thing goes so well anyway I could you know what I could do I could raise Can raise my seat up. Nah, I'm not gonna do that because I hate driving with my head like almost touching the ceiling. It's gonna have to deal with me. I'm just gonna have to deal with the top of my head. So today, it's been a long day. I had like a few. I had like two, like three hours of sleep today. And then let me, let me fucking get out of here first. When you got long ass cars next to you, you just gotta back up super slow. I hope no one just runs in your ass. So, let's give a recap so far. So, woke up at, set my alarm for 5.50, which was gonna give me, 5.50 would give me enough time to shower and prepare to leave it was gonna leave at like 6.15 to 6.30 in that time range. And then, of course my alarm, so this is just really strange to me. My alarm went off at 4.50, which is like one hour early. And it's so strange because I, so I, I didn't even, I knew I wasn't gonna be getting much sleep, so, 
I, I just accepted that I was going to be tired when I woke up, so I was, like, really tired. And then I checked it, and I was like, uh, I took a shower. I came out of the shower, went, went to go, you know, get ready, check the time. Let's go. So I checked the time, and then it's, like, four, it was, uh... 510 after I had finished Jesus Christ this thing is like not staying still at all it was like 510 after I had finished showering and then I was like what the fuck it's why is it 510 like I'm not leaving till 630 so I just went back to sleep for another hour and I couldn't really fall asleep so I was just pretty much laying down for an hour so that sucked <laughs> and then so we went to shoe palace at the Venetian, uh, they were doing another one, I think. At uh, so Shoe Palace of the Venetian was doing a live raffle, and what store was that? what's the other store that was doing the live raffle? Um, what's it called? Miracle Mile Shoe Palace was doing one as well. I hadn't, I didn't go to the finish line or the undefeated raffles because they were earlier and I was busy, so I couldn't. And honestly, like, I didn't really want to just, I could have stopped down there, but, like, all this stuff is, like, 25 to 30 minutes away from my house. So, like, you got to think about it. Like, if I want to go down there to get a raffle, it's, like, it's going to be an hour drive back and forth. So, that like, I got to consider that gas. So, that's whenever I do something on that side of town, I always like to, like, do all of my things at once like I have a I have a consignment check that I need to pick up from Urban Necessities but I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till I'm gonna wait till either my other consignment uh, shoe sells so I can pick them pick them both up at the same time or I'm gonna wait till uh, my extra pair of my new extra pair of Yeezys come in so I can consign those and so like because I don't want to drive back and forth all the time down there because it's really far so so anyway, today we go to Shoe Palace and then, you know, they've got a, pro like, I'm just, I'm guessing they have anywhere, Shoe Palace, like each Shoe Palace in Vegas at uh, the Miracle Mile fashion, sh I don't know if fashion show did the, got the Yeezys, but I'm pretty sure they did because it's fashion show. So if I'm guessing Miracle Mile fashion show and the Grand Canal shops, all three of them probably got if I had to guess like 20 plus pairs I think that's really cons a conservative guess probably 20 to 30 pairs and they only raffled off 10 of them so I'm there was like I'm guessing they keep I'm not guessing I know they keep the rest for employees and you know for themselves which is you know it's it's it is what it is that's the that's the perks of owning a store that's the perks of owning a shoe store right so they only raffle off about 10 pairs i think it was and you know i see there's some guys i asked you know i, I waited so of course we take the l and i wait outside try to buy some pairs but people were like asking for like fucking stupid prices so i don't deal with stupid people so just said fuck you <laughs> and I didn't say that but I was just like oh, no thank you and I was just we, we dipped out I was kind of wasn't in a bad mood but it was just like we just wasted like you know we just waited it was, honestly it wasn't that long of a wait we got there we got there at about 705 and we had and we the the they started the live raffle at eight so it was a really really short wait less than an hour so like I can't even you know waiting an hour to win some Yeezys I'll I'll do that. It's not a big deal. Zuna said he's never going to do that shit again because he just doesn't care enough. He'd rather just pay. <laughs> he'd rather pay. Zuna said he'd just rather pay resell. He doesn't want to wait in line. He said, fuck that shit. So, anyway. So, you know, it sucked. Didn't win anything. And then, so, been taking L's all week. Didn't, didn't, took the L on the confirm, the Adidas confirmed app. Took the L on the champs. Uh, the Champs app, the Foot Locker app, and the Foot Locker is also the Foot Action app. So that's like four L's right there. And then finish line and undefeated. I didn't go to the in-store raffles because I wasn't going to drive down there for one one raffle ticket, right? So uh, so I, already, I had already, I had already uh, 
went, as soon as I got home, checked checked my email, and I saw that I had an Adidas email saying that my per, my order confirmation, my purchase went through for the Yeezys. So I was like, oh fuck yeah, my bot went through. So that was awesome. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about how much I spent for the bot, but it wasn't cheap. But it's a lot cheaper than resale. So let's just say that. And then Zuna also got a got a pair, and we're probably. I don't know, I might keep one, depending on like how the resell value is going. Like right now they're reselling less than their, than all the, the original pairs, so I might wait a little bit. I think the price will go up in a little bit. All right, go now, I can need to turn right, go. Why are you going 20 miles a fucking hour? I need to turn right. 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 So, yeah. I hate people that just don't understand how to drive. It drives me insane. So, yeah, so I got those two pairs coming. I also ordered another two pairs where I paid, I didn't, I paid a little bit more, but I'm going to be reselling those as well. So, four pairs in total so far. And then I'm going to see if I can purchase any more for good deals today. And in the next few days when people are selling them, because like some people just, you know, they just want to make a quick buck. And those are the people that I need to buy off of so I can make a quick buck. And then I will be selling, depending on the price that I can get for them, I'll, I might hold on to them for a little bit and then sell them like either closer to the next release or closer to Christmas, because I guarantee you they're going to be worth more like right now is probably the cheapest you're ever gonna get them for for a resale right now so like you could you could probably cop them for like 800 to a thousand right now and i think that the price is like i think the closer it gets to christmas it's probably gonna like jump up to like 1200 if i just like just my guesstimate like i'm i'm not like a, a, a shoe expert but that's what i would be guessing so all the like even the all of the all of the Yeezys, all of them have gone up in price every release. So like if you look at the like the turtle doves for example, they were going for like I think three months ago they were going for for a dead stock pair for a normal size like a ten or eleven was going for around fourteen to fifteen hundred dollars. And then as soon as they released the images, like just the day that they released the images of the Yeezy V2, the the prices just started skyrocketing on the turtle doves. Now you can't like it's like if you get a pair of a turtle doves for like 1700 that's like a really good deal so and all of the all of the regular colorways like we're going for about a grand i'd say and now you can't really find them for like less than 11 to to 12 so all of the yeezys are just going up in price and i think they're going to go even higher the closer it gets to christmas because people want they want to give away gifts and they want they want money for gifts so like people that want money are going to sell their Yeezys and then people that want Yeezys to get for Christmas are going to buy them you know so that's what I'm banking on to make a quick buck and this is just a side hobby for me like I don't rely this you know I I make my money playing video games this is just like any any money that I make playing around with shoes is just fun for me and it's just like it's a it's a nice hobby for me because like I enjoy the shoe game and like I enjoy buying shoes and like reselling them and obviously I enjoy wearing them so it's just it's just a hobby for me you know I'm not trying to make this into a full-time thing all right so I'm at cravings now I'm gonna go get a steak and egg bowl and then I will update you guys later don't really have anything too much planned today like, I, I literally don't have shit planned. oh fuck. oh I suppose oh I totally forgot I was gonna go cash my I forgot to cash my uh, my check that I got from Burbank. I still haven't cashed this shit. It's only like, it's like 115 bucks for food, but I was gonna go cash it after the gym and I totally forgot because I'm so hungry. It's, what time is it right now? It is, it's 1.35 p.m. I haven't eaten since, I, I let's see, I, I haven't eaten since last night at like, probably like 10 p.m. and it's 1.35 p.m. So like that's, what is that, 12, 14, 15? 15 and a half hours I haven't eaten, so I am starving right now, so I'll catch you guys later. Here is meal number two of the day. This is 12 ounces of chicken breast 
with 92 carbs of white rice and like 20, probably 20 plus carbs of teriyaki sauce. I'm about to fuck this up. What up everybody? So I'm gonna, what is it? It's, it's almost 3 a.m. So I'm gonna be heading to sleep soon. Uh, what did we do today? Today was a uh, pool workout. So yeah, um, let's go over quick, uh, go over quick what I did. So, God, my arm was tired. Uh, we did, started with some wide grip pull downs. And we, I think I did like, I did two, I did 200 on the first set for 12 reps. And like, I was like, oh, that shit's too heavy. Then, so I dropped it down to 160, and then I finished the last, finished the last three sets at 160. Um, yeah, so, four sets of 12. And then, after that, moved on to, what did we move on to after that? Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to do, I was gonna do, like, the lat, the lat machine, but... Like, the, some dude was just, like, not getting getting off of it. So, I did, uh, I just worked on my traps. So, I did, like, three sets of 20 on 90-pound uh, dumbbells. And then, after that, I went to... What did I do after that? Man, my memory is so bad right now. Uh, I, did, uh, I did face pulls. And that's for my, like, for the rear delt. And I did three, four sets of, uh, I did four sets of 12 on that as well. I think, uh, I don't remember the exact weight that I used, but it was like 35 or something. I don't remember. And then, yeah, so, like, I would, then I, I looked again, and the, the, there's another guy on the, the lap machine that I wanted to use. And I can't do, like, the, I can't do standing, like, lap pulls with a dumbbell or, or, like, uh, like the bent over ones that people do on a like a bench because my lower back is like completely messed so like I have to wait for the machine and like it was just like full so I was just like fuck it and then I w so then I went to go do biceps I did four sets of 12 on 40 pound on a 40 pound dumbbell preacher curl and then after that we did four sets just till failure on, on the, so I did on a incline bench, I did four sets till failure on my bicep curls, and first set I did, uh, like, 30, and then I just dropped, I dropped the dumbbells five pounds each set, so, like, it went, like, 30 till failure, 25 till failure, then 20 till failure, uh, yeah, and then 12. Wait, what? Maybe I started at 30. No, I started at 35 because I ended at 20. So 35, 30, 25, 20. Yeah, so I started at 35. Then after that, I did uh, just some more standing standing biceps. Yeah, just like, just like killed it out until like my biceps were dead pretty much. Like I really hit my biceps hard. Uh, I wanted I wanted to hit my back more, but like the machine that I wanted to use was just like used the whole time. I probably should have done some. Uh, I should probably should have used the row machine, but I was just like I'm really I really hate working on my back. Like it's probably my my least like uh, developed area, just because it's it's probably my least developed area. Like my traps are pretty pretty big but like the my back though it's like my weakest body part for sure like I can't even I know I weigh like 320 pounds but I can't even do a pull up so it's kind of rough so anyway tomorrow I am going to take my off day I knew I took it I took an extra off day yesterday but 
I, I really needed it. My body felt so much better today. And then tomorrow, just gonna do cardio. I think that's the only plans that I got for tomorrow. Oh, excuse me, so. Yeah, ended the cal uh, ended my calories tonight at 2400 and everything's looking good the weight loss is going about as as planned so hope to be under 320 soon and i will check you guys tomorrow peace